Are you ready for your next pinball machine? Call Flippin' Out now and choose from the newest and hottest pinball machines from Jersey Jack Pinball, Stern Pinball, Chicago Gaming Company, and American Pinball. Flippin' Out also offers the Escalera Stair Climbing Hand Truck. Visit now at flipinoutpinball.com. The wait is over. A revolution in LED lighting for your pinball is finally here. Fully customizable, full spectrum lighting from Pin Stadium Lights. Order yours now at pinstadium.com. Check out Pin Graphics for the latest and greatest in pinball enhancements. Power blades, blade skins, pin blades, and even more. Visit pingraphics.com now to see what's available for your pinball machine. Right, let's kick this shit. You hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the out the again. I tried to cradle you with my flipper, it was all in the What's happening, party people? This is Zach and Greg from Straight Down the Middle of Pinball Show. We are here to bring you another lovely episode. What are we doing this week, Gregory? Top 10. Top 10. World's what? Under Glass. Oh, so you're throwing it out there already. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, We're yeah. doing another top 10. We haven't done one of these in a while, right? No, it has been I think a while. our last one was Ramps. People enjoy them. There's much debate, much hatred. Yes. Yeah, Probably got this one wrong, too. No, we always get them right. But we did it. World's under glass. So this is a big pet peeve for some hardcore enthusiasts. That it is. Right? Why do people care about world under glass so much? Are you pro world under glass? I'm very much so. Are you? Yeah. What does the world under glass mean to you? To me, it, uh, it encompasses the uh, the title that it is. It, it pulls you in. It makes you feel like you are a part of that pinball machine. Not that you're okay. just simply playing a pinball machine, but that you are actually existing and traveling through that universe that is under that glass. Okay. No? That's like the longest vague explanation. So you're saying theme integration, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah to an extent. I Some may argue that it's very literal. Like a, a true world under glass. Well, but like that, you're looking down into an environment where big toys and mechs might not equate to a world under glass because it's just big toys and mechs. Actually looking down into, uh, what is it? Is it Cyclone or the amusement park one where you see the tops of yeah, heads? Yeah. That is a world under glass. Yeah. And I agree with that. I can agree with it. But I also think that it... That helps encompass and pull you in, but I think that it can look like a miniaturization of that world all you want and still not feel like it. Hmm. So it's more integration as well to you. Yes. It's not just what it looks like, yeah. but how much it pulls you in. Yeah, I think it's a little of both. Hmm. What did we do on this ranking system? <laughs> we did a little bit of It was a little, little bit, bit of, of both. both. Just uh, that you can't define, you, you can't put a definition on world under glass. Uh, and it was hard. But you know when you see it. You right? do know when you see it, and you f know when you feel it. Ooh. Does Star Wars, is that a world under glass? <laughs> see, that's the tricky part, because it's not. No. That would be most one of the most barren worlds. It does not look like Star Wars when you look at it. But Dwight's coding. And the shots. Helps make it feel a lot more Star Warsy when you're in some modes and stuff. So that would be... But overall... Yeah, that would be world outside of glass because it has to do with the the displays, the sounds, right? Yeah, it's a combination of, of all of it. I mean, I mean, if we're getting that technical and we're going that world under glass, yeah. like, like literally only what's under glass... Well, that's what we are. Then, yeah. Because, but I, mean, uh, I mean, if you think about... Uh, dialed in whether this makes our list or not one of the complaints might be a lot of that world under glass is actually on the LCD screen it is it is is Hobbit gonna make it mm. I like that Hobbit's Hobbit. pretty good Hobbit is pretty good Hobbit, so Hobbit. let's get into it you ready yeah the number 10 world I gotta get my notes here world under glass Flintstones yeah and I kind of had to argue for this. I know it's not the greatest game. You know what? You and I did argue over this top 10 more than we usually do. Yeah, 
you've got the freaking stone houses. It feels like bedrock. It, it looks does. like bedrock. You get the bowling pins. Yes, it feels like you're in bedrock. You have a brontosaurus actually in the game that's lit up. Yeah, I mean, what more can you ask for than that, honestly? Like, I, I kind of advocate for it to be maybe a little higher if you're oh. going to get as technical as you were about fully just under the glass and okay. what it looks like. Because it's a miniature bedrock. It is. It's neat. I can't argue against no. that. Um it does feel like a world. Even Dry. even the print. The print is prehistoric. It's got a lot of that yeah. orange stone. It feels like it. the the show. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, you better That's be a good one. It's on. That's there. a good one. Okay, number nine. What number nine? Okay, so this one I had higher. Yeah. You said probably shouldn't even be in the game. Yeah. Stern's Ghostbusters. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Because again, like it's like what what level are you on? Like what what, what is there? There's a Slimer mech. Yeah, there's Slimer. Okay, he comes so out of the city. If you're not encompassing sounds, because that's outside the glass. Okay, you're not encompassing what you, your your DMD animations. No, then I don't, I don't need that. There, there's not much there. Oh, there's a cityscape over the pop bumpers. It's like that big around. There's a, a subway that goes under. The subway is a, in, uh, is a crucial part of that film. It is a cr- the crucial part. One. But you still don't feel... I don't I don't feel... You look into... Uh, if I was just looking at the world under glass, it's not that encompassing. You use ecto goggles to see holographic ghosts that you can hit. Yeah. But You're actually you killing you ghosts. Well, we'll just say it's the premium LE. Okay. Exactly. Again, Dwight's code makes it feel like a, a world. Okay. I, I, I put it on that. Okay. Like not take away from from, from Yeti's art. Like it, That's what makes it feel like a world of It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Because you're looking down, you see the top. You do see like they're busting ghosts. ghosts. You got a lot And of, they shoot the phasers. That is yeah, a world. I mean, it, it is. It is. But I don't think it's as strong as some. Okay. All right. I had it up a little, a little higher. Yeah. Knocking back down. Compromise is what straight down the middle is all about, right? Yeah. Compromising on my ideas. Sometimes more than others. Okay. Number eight. Number eight, I had to argue for as well. You did a lot of arguing. Yeah, I had this up higher. You shot her down a little bit. Yeah. I'd like to argue with this one. This is Jersey Jack's Pirates of the Caribbean. Top ten worlds under glass. Why not? Why not? When I look down... I see the world of pirates. I see ships that are swaying and rocky. I see a cannonball being shot and another cannonball. I see a, a maelstrom, a whirlwind, if you will. Yeah. I see a chest that you lock balls in, for but God's sake. But again, sakes. You, you, you bit yourself in the ass at the beginning of this I video. See, I see lighting that looks like water. They when, do the inserts like no, water swaying. Does, a does, sunset, you've got if the you stars, will. You've got the stars. Sunset, constellation. Do you know they coded that? They coded lighting to look like the sun is setting on the LCD screen. Yeah. On, I mean, come on. But it's you like what that. you said at the beginning of the video. Uh huh. Toys it's got a spinning and mech. toys and mechs Can don't be necessarily wor- equate to okay. a world under glass. And to me, now there's too many variations of the film in that one area. You've got the ship, like you said, you've got a sunset. Well, now you've got the gazing mm-hmm. stars. Now you've got a spinning map. You've got a chest over here. You've got the maelstrom, but it's not. And a they co- all belong together. The, they all belong together. They all belong in the film. They all belong in the world. But they all belong in the world, but it's too large of a world to bring so many things to make it feel like I see what that you're little saying. world. Does I it make what, sense? I see what you're and saying. And I hope you guys, I hope it makes sense to you guys and you can kind of see. I do see what you're love saying. Love the freaking game. It when, feels more yeah. like a, an engineering toy mech marvel that yes. does a world. A glass. world, yeah. It, and if you focus on each of those independent things, because yeah, artwork like you do world. just have faces. That's yeah. not much of a world. Yeah. And like I said, the ship is separate. If I'm just focusing on the rocking ship, I feel like I'm in pirates. Mm-hmm. You know, if I feel like that, you know, I'm looking at the back and the star, and I'm in this little. It feels like the starry night back there. But as a whole, it doesn't encompass and pull you into a world because it's almost too too much. To feel unified. I'm sorry. Yeah. You sort of get it. I do get it. I get what you're saying, um, but it's bullshit. I mean, it's number eight for a reason. But they're uh, still all fantastic. Because when I things. look down, I see and I feel pirates. 
Yeah. Everything pirates. Like that game more than any. I just feel like I'm in the world of being a, a swashbuckling yard pirate that is shooting cannonballs. See, I don't I feel just, that that much. Do you not? Feel I, I love all the toys, and I think somebody's angry that they didn't make this top ten. <laughs> I, yeah. I argued for that. You one. did. I know that. But, I did argue for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you you understand. Like, I do get it. I get it. So yeah. I was okay. We were okay yeah. compromising. Yeah. It made it into the list, but it's the number. Still eight. freaking fantastic and fun. It's a top 10 of all time. Greatest worlds under glass and pinball. I mean, yeah, I who can be angry at that? Nobody. Oh, number seven. Oh, I love this game. And everybody hates this game. I just <laughs> let him have it. <laughs> Which I agree with it, though. Number seven is a super pin. Uh, and it's one of the best super pins ever made by Bally Williams. Very underrated. Yes. Uh, I will agree. It is. Uh, arc, 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 arc. Hey, let's hear your Popeye. <laughs> do, do. <laughs> I'm Popeye. Give him a spinach. There it is. Yeah. Wow. All right. It's Popeye. Come here, olive oil. Or, is it You're olive more oil? of a Bluto. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Bluto. And I'm olive oil. Okay. I'll toss that up for you. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> what? What's wrong with it, nah, people? Well, What's man. wrong with it? So that's number seven is Popeye. I'm going to steal Dwight away in when no you, time. When you look. No, Dwight is, Dwight is team. And make sure, uh, if anybody's watching in the pinball industry, make sure to reach out to us and tell us whether you're a huge fan of mine and I'll put you on my starting lineup or uh, Greg needs a little help over here. So yeah. uh, maybe maybe be on team Greg. Careful what but, you wish for. Oh, believe me, I know what's coming. <laughs> when you look at Popeye, Greg, you walk up to that game, you think, oh no, not Popeye. But what do you see? What Do you really feel like you're on a ship? <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> I, do too. I feel like I'm literally in one of those cartoons. It like, looks like a ship. Because it's got so much going on. Mm-hmm. Like It is fantastic. Even around the apron, it looks like the... the is it the stern of the ship? Yeah. What's the, be- the, oh, the front? The bow? The bow. The stern? The stern? Starboard? <laughs> Starboard side! All these, all these boats make it in. Yeah, we don't sail, team. obviously. No, we don't. Somebody will be sure to correct us. So, the uh, the, the, the point of the, the rose... And Jack, if you will, at the beginning of the boat. We should do that, shouldn't we? There he is. Being, Never let go. being Rose again. No, I am Leo. He's olive oil. He's Rose. I'm Leo. I'm Leo. You're the whiny little be a Rose. Glittery that, vampire. You know, you're the whiny little Rose that says she's not going to let go. And pff, any chance he gets, he lets go. <laughs> hey. So, Air man for herself. You're Kate Winslet. I ain't going down Kate with the Winslet ship. Kate Winslet was smoking. God, she was that, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah. Man, two mm. part. Okay, stop. Like VHS. Oh. Hey, uh. All right, so Popeye. Whenever I look down, I do see a ship. Even the artwork itself with Bluto's arms is made to look like... And then we got the three-dimensional Bluto that's fighting you in the middle of the ship. The upper deck of the ship, right? Where the stacks are going up. That makes sense He's as talking well. about a world under glass. What? Yeah, Popeye. How great would Titanic be? You never hear anybody argue for Titanic. I mean, I don't really want to see Leo. Like I do. I love 20, Leo. I love him too. But like 20 year old Leo from Titanic. I'm okay with that. But how freaking I like amazing. Gilbert Grape Leo. Remember Gilbert Yo, Grape? Yeah. What's even Gilbert Grape? Yeah. Films. But how great could that be though? Like nobody ever talks yeah, what about would you, what you could do with that license. What would you do with it though? Shit, I don't know. Knock band members overboard or oh, something. God. I don't know. Sink the damn ship. Remember the one that falls and hits the thing and twirls? Yeah. Maybe you've got a chance of diverting away from the iceberg. I don't know, man. No, you can't that change could be history. Good. Video mode, Would it you're be... drawing Kate Winslet naked? Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Every shot you hit, it sketches a little more. Right? Everybody with a good shot. And then Billy, <laughs> <laughs> Billy Zane jumps in and yeah. shoots at people. Hell yes, that's what I'm saying. Would it be the whole ship? Or would a large Titanic be on there that ramps, you could go in and out, and then the whole ship kind of just sinks? Towards the end of your game, the wizard mode. Oh, possibilities are limitless. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's never crossed my mind. Okay. And nobody else's. You've heard me for a reason. Oh, right. You were doing a Titanic pinball machine. Think you got a sequel there? <laughs> That's weird. I thought I saw something there. I think it was like, you know, some bullcrap thing. Yeah. But it was like Titanic 2. I was like, well, Chelsea, man, it's going to be Chelsea. Chelsea, we're going to make a Titanic. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. I, I did Buster Balls about it. But then it was a recreation. They're, gonna, they're building that, that, uh, they got that, uh, the, 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 uh, Reconstructing the ship. Oh, how many times have they done that? Yeah, that's what I told her. I, mean, I don't think that's a sale. I think they're offering like it's a recreation of it, a replica, and they're going to set sale. That's what she's talking about Titanic 2 and Buster Balls. Like, I don't know about a movie coming out. <laughs> I go watch another one. Well, but I love you, but Bill Paxton, remember Bill Paxton? Wow, we, we, that was a tangent. That was a Leo yeah, tangent. Sorry. Okay. That just got my mind going, thinking of Naked Kate. Moving oh, on to number number six is an underdog. I don't think it's the greatest game, uh, but no one can deny it is truly a pinball world under glass, and that is fire. 
Oh, the old yeah. System 11. Third game, but yeah, how I mean, cool is it, though? It's, it's a one-trick pony, but it looks like a cityscape. Yeah. You start the game out where everything's fine, and then the fire erupts, and the little spinning um, thing in the play field, yeah. it, it looks like the, the building's fire. on fire. And you have to go up the, the ramps and save the people. Yeah. And now, what... That's beautiful. Like third game or not, like that's a city that's on fire. Freaking neat. Yep. It's and it even this is this is out of the glass. But if we're talking integration, just for the purposes of us never talking fire ever again, back glass, back glass, and yeah, the back glass moves around, and yeah. and the bell. Yeah. Oh. Ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fire bell. <laughs> but th- that doesn't count. But just under the glass, that is a true remarkable. World under glass. Okay. All right, on to the next one, my friend. Mm. Number five. Mm. So we're halfway through this list. Number five is a game that you own. It's Lethal Weapon 3. No. I, was like, I didn't know that was on there. But hey, you know what? It kind of does. No. no it, it, that might be one of the worst. Um, no. It's a game you own. I feel like I'm carrying an Uzi every day when I play a game. Yeah. 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 Put yeah. them in a fight. Karate Everything. Kicks, like. Kickback. Uh, no, it is... The Simpsons Pinball Party by Stern, early 2000s. I'd argue for that one. Oh, I just man. didn't feel like... I just didn't feel like it is a true world under glass. Maybe it deserved to be in the top ten, but number five? Pitch us. What, why, why world under glass? Well, you've got the couch. You've got the garage. You've got the characters. Like, it feels like you're in their world. And you're talking You've got the power there. plant. Yeah, I mean, you got the power plant. But I mean, okay, it's a, the it's power a, plant's a good point. It's a town. On pop bumpers. Like, you know, it, it's like with, with pirates. The world's largest couch. No, I'm just... Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's <laughs> not the scale. scale. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, you got a poo or whatever in this convenience poo. store. Is it a boo? A poo? It's, it's a poo. It's a poo. A poo. A poo. A poo. What I yeah, that's what I said. Like, what was wrong with me? Just, you just said there's a poo over there. I was like, what? A there's poo? a pile of poo in the corner. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got a comic book store South guy. South Park. Like, we should have included South oh, Park. Oh shit! You know what? South Park would have been pretty good. Honestly, it's just characters only. Yeah, but but this, you know, like him rushing home, get to the garage, like from the bar. Like, there's the, okay. it, it encompasses a lot. Homer's head moves around, uh, watches. Yeah, I mean that's kind of a little. But the dough friends is a lot of scale and stuff. Like I said, it's, it's not the scale. You've got worst pinball ever. Yeah. You've got him. It's, it's pretty good stuff that goes on. I mean, it just feels like the world, the the art, the the mix, everything. It feels mm-hmm. like, it feels almost like the opening scene of The Simpsons. Um, and I, I know that you could That's almost, a very iconic, uh, yeah. a very iconic series in yeah. American culture. Yeah. And I think that that's sort of what se- separates it. And they nailed it. it. Yeah. I think that's what Mill. sort of separates it from, like, if you're arguing about pirates and the toys and different mechs in there. I think these, like you said, they're more iconic and distinguishable versus... They make you feel like you're in Springfield. Yes. Or especially they make you feel like you're in the Simpsons' home. Yeah. You... When you, you get hit, up top. You yeah. go through the garage door just like on the series, to go right? Up, the big To go inside the And house. then they all sit on the couch before this, uh, the episode starts, and that's how you're, you're literally putting... The Simpsons per or via each ball onto, onto the, the couch. couch to start that multi ball. Exactly. You got yeah, aliens. Monster. You got you do got a lot. Itchy and scratchy show Itchy that goes scratchy. on. You've got the auto, the bus driver. Mm-hmm. You got Bart on mm-hmm. a skateboard. Yep. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Maybe not at number five, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that. Moving on to number four. Number four. One of the greatest pinball machines of all time. I think you're going to see a theme here for the top five. Are there for a reason because these are fantastic pins, and a lot of the reason that they are fantastic pins is not the designer code; it's the world under glass element that people do not want to. Uh, they don't want to admit it. No, world under glass is very faux pas. Means a lot, right? the The true players are going to say, "I don't care if I'm in a world; I just want to score points, yeah. have good shots, and have good code." Like, I don't care if there's a school bus but, in there. And I, when I'm on location and I'm playing in a tournament, I don't give a shit either. But at the same if time, I, I like to own pins and I want that at home because it just feels good. It feels fun. It's like watching a movie. I mean, that's mm-hmm. it, like going, it's like to me, and I know that you can still encompass it and everything, but like, you know, there, there's some theater in the world yeah. that you'll go to and it's literally like a naked stage with a couple chairs and and everybody is talking and it's still a wonderful play it's written very well yeah. but what adds more when you've got a beautiful you stage like set and you feel like you're in that world and you're seeing them you are safe with me. Uh, 
don't think anybody's <laughs> safe no, with him. But, don't either. But you know what I'm saying? That that makes that that experience of that yeah. that stage show so much better. I agree. If you can rely on the, those to help boost your imagination, and that's what I I like to dive deep into a pin when I'm playing it. Like, like I bet you do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> kind of like your no, 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 mom. <laughs> Marco Specialties, same day shipping, accessible website, exceptional customer service, and with over 50,000 different pinball parts in stock, Marco Specialties is a must for every pinball enthusiast and operator. Treat your pinball machine right by visiting marcospec.com now. Chrome it, brass it, black nickel it, candy chrome it, powder coat it. The possibilities are endless at pinballplating.com. Your pinball machine deserves the best. At Comet Pinball, you'll find the best variety of LED products with the best quality LEDs and most importantly, at the best price. Your collection is begging for an upgrade. Order yours now at CometPinball.com. All right, so enough with this. So what is the number four? I'll show you. Okay. You tell them. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, tell them what it is. Lord of the Rings. That's right. Fly, you fools! <laughs> and that's it. I think it embraces Lord of the Rings quite a bit. Hell yeah, it does. I have Saruman. You got all the, you know, you're. You got Towers of Fall over. You got the, yeah, stuff, Balrog like, that comes out. You've got a sword lock. It's pretty right? Fun. You got yeah, Path of the there. Dead up top. It's got a ring. Yeah. You're actually shooting into the ring. That is a world under glass. It's Lord of the Rings. Yeah. You got a Shire. Yeah. Actually, got a little Shire. I, that's not really world Z. But uh, no. but you have a lot of goals. Yeah. Pulls you into that. I think so. Yeah. Can we not just add Hobbit here with it? <laughs> it's like a... You know, Hobbit does, but not nearly like, like Lord of the Rings. <sighs> Hobbit relies so much on the LCD. I tried arguing Don't for it. Hobbit, but Greg said, eh. But it, it relies heavily on the LCD screen. It does. You know, honestly. You got a talking dragon. Yeah. Oh, the talking dragon. Yeah, but it's still... And, and it's still... Okay. You got a lot of metal. It feels like the weapons. I mean, I guess. You got pop bumper barrels. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. But it's still, the rest of it's, it's okay. I'll let you have beautiful, I'll phenomenally you have beautiful. Lord of the Rings is, is fantastic. It really is. Yeah. Um, every part of that is very much a world under glass. I still think it's one of the greatest pinball machines ever made in, in every oh, aspect. Oh, like, Absolutely. Like, there's, other than the, the washout artwork and the clip art, mm -hmm. like, there's just, like, so little bad that you can say about that machine. Yeah. It's, I agree. It's all around a phenomenal, Check out phenomenal our review, game. Except for the art. Yeah. But, you know. I mean, to me, it would far surpass, it would be in the numbers if it was more beautiful. To me, it would be in the realm of medieval madnesses, uh, monster bashes. It would be in that realm of pricing. If and the art was better? If the art was better. I just think those those machines are so And beautiful. the right ramp. I still not a bad ramp. I didn't good. see George at uh, Expo, he was by there. the way. Yeah, I think he avoided me. He might have. I tried to avoid you. <laughs> you did a pretty damn good job. I literally... Joe, Joe from, from JJP. Yeah, yeah. Joe was like... Crazy. I, I was leaving and I, I gave Joe uh, a handshake yeah, yeah. and stuff by. And he was like, where's your uh, other half at? And I was like, she's standing right here. <laughs> oh, he was like, no, the one I ain't seen all weekend. Because I was busy. He was like, I've seen, I was busy working, like, Joe. I've seen you all over the place. He's like, I ain't seen Zach nowhere. I'm I like, did. I ended up talking to Joe very shortly. I'm personable. Um, He's not. When I was doing the walkthrough. But see, I was working again. You were gone and headed to Louisville. End of the entire expo. Working. And Zach finally sees people. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my good friend Steve, Denver Steve. We call him Denver Steve, even though he's not from Denver, but he's from it's Colorado. Bull. I hung out with the dude like one evening all night, and he tells you. I hung out you? with Denver Steve for three days. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I had so many friends at expo. Denver Steve. And nobody knew where you were. Me and I Denver was there. Steve were, was playing pinball at 7 o'clock in the morning in free didn't. play with you. coffee. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. We, we tore it up. Okay. Denver Steve gave me some phenomenal scotch. Me and Denver Steve had a glass of scotch together. <sighs> World under glass. Okay. So, that's number four. Number three. Ooh, it's a good one. 
This is a good this one. This is good. I think the reason that this pin is so loved, a lot of it is, I think a third of it is because it's a world under glass. It's medieval madness. Easily. Yeah. Easily. It's yeah. freaking fantastic. It shoots good. Yes. Code's good. Yeah. When you have a, a door that comes down like a drawbridge. <laughs> yeah. And then a gate behind it that you have to hit open. And then a big castle. I don't care how many times I have to raid thing. that castle. It is fun. Yeah. It has a catapult that yes. is very medieval yes. that throws the ball. Yes. It also has uh, the damsel in distress that you have to hit past the dragon into her little, uh, her little uh, what do you call that? Little tower, if yeah. you will. Yeah. Tower. That that's very much medieval madness is now people are like wait a minute that should have been the top one yeah how is that not number one world under glass and Greg, I can see I can you see guys arguments. blew it I can see arguments for yeah, that because I, I it, it I can see that because or one and two are better though they are yeah I mean Absolutely. this was the tough thing about this because there's a bunch that we left off but it's like they're all so very similar mm-hmm. like in this it was very hard to to put one in front of the other, even in the 10 that we had, uh, a lot of them were, a tough one. were very hard. Yeah, because there's so many different aspects that you could argue, well, this, this, and this. I mean, we could be here for days with a damn mm-hmm. diagram of why of, everything. Of yeah. why, because, well, this outweighs this. Well, now, but this one right here outweighs this. And uh, it's, did we not forget trolls popping out of the play field for the win? I mean, come on. And you're beating them up. Come on. You're beating them up. That's awesome. Reminds me of gummy bears. Uh, this may have... That's what that reminds me of. Should this have been higher? You could retheme that as a gummy bears pen. Oh, God. Gummy, gummy bears, bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. Remember that? Gummy they are the gummy bears. Gummy bears. Yeah. yeah, see? Of course I do. I'm they drink their little... Uh, what is that? Juice. Gummy berry juice. Berry... Yeah, gummy berry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just whipped everybody's We're ass. We're so kids of the 90s, yeah. aren't we? You know that had Screw to have the like 80s. cocaine or something. Let's push in that 90s, shit. right? Yeah, ain't who's, nobody. Who's the bad guy in that? In I mean, he was uh, like a, that's what he I'm was saying. like a knight. Yeah, yeah like the guy on the back glass. Like that. That's what I'm saying. You and then do... his little trolley sidekick. Yes. What was his that's name? that's my whole point about how that you could make this a gummy bears. Reminds me of gummy bears every we time. We do I play. need a gummy bears pin. <laughs> There's everybody out there's like. It jumped the shark. Yep, that's it right there. And they're like, hey, and I'm subscribed. What's next, My Little Pony? All right, so here's why number one and two are better. Okay, number two is also a Bally Williams 90s. Bally Williams 90 owned on World Under Glass. A lot, right? a lot. So we're going to go to a Nordman special in Whitewater. That, I mean, you're there. You're in the mountains. You're, you're whitewater rafting. You, yeah, the, you world, the, the ramps. Yeah, Sasquatch. You, you meet Sasquatch. He pushes your ball into a world. Yeah, the a mountains. Yeah. Everything. Like, I remember when I first got into pinball, I, I heard a lot about fishtails. Boulders. You got boulders everywhere. Reason. Throughout the whole pinball yes. machine. And, boulders. And whitewater. And the first time I Googled a whitewater, I was like, holy crap. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, this exists? Yeah. I've just got a lost world. That's a pinball machine. No, I've got a freaking egg that opens, and I was mm-hmm. amazed. Like, look at this. I think because of the the structure, the rock structure that surrounds it, mm-hmm. I think that's what puts it over the top over medieval madness. I do too. Because that's what pulls you in. Yeah. Uh, on medieval madness, you only you don't have the confines of something pulling you into that yeah. world. You just have uh, the different pieces. Well, it, yeah, exactly. And this this isolates one whole world mm-hmm. as like a diorama yep. almost. Yeah, it, it is literally like a school project, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, setting inside of a, a pinball machine. Man, which oh, man. It, it is that is that separation. I, I completely You feel agree. like you're going down waterfalls. Yeah. Not only do you get the roller coaster one, but then it swirls around by the flipper. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's Whitewater. Uh, one of your greatest worlds under glass in pinball. Number one... People are like, Whoa. I think people know, right? People I know. know. I don't know if they do. Yeah, they do. The greatest world under glass in pinball is, and probably the way people are building machines nowadays, probably always will be, it's Jersey Jack Pinball's Wizard of Oz. Duh. Not my favorite Jersey Jack game out of the lineup, but no one can argue when they look down in there, that is that's Oz. Yeah. And some of that you might Oz. be saying, well, okay, well, uh, you can, there, there's so much going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, how how do you not equate that to the same thing as pirates? But to me, again, it's just a chess. It's a ship. These are very specific things to the film. You got the flying monkey. You've got the house. You've got the witch's castle. You got different up there. worlds. You've yeah. got different aspects of that world, but that are very specific to that film that is recognizable, like The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. It's the iconicness, even though it it, it encapsulates. A lot of the whole of the world, not just one specific scene or yeah. portion. I think it does like what we talked about with The Simpsons, where that everything's so iconic in there 
that that's what makes it feel like the movie and then like the spinning house oh, the yeah. way that they do the mechanisms in there mm-hmm. pull you in even more yeah to me when i look down at the wizard of oz i see color and nothing screams wizard of oz than beautiful rainbow colors you have that but it looks like what the hell is flipper that? bats yeah they're ruby red slippers and you have the artwork of the witch that's scared of them so she's doing this whole number Every time you're flipping them things up. But when I look down at it, I see Oz. uh, I see a map. I see the witch's castle. Yeah. I see down towards the apron, the the fair balloon that's floating away. I see Munchkin Land to the right, the ball lock. And then right before that, I see the the yellow brick road that falls into Munchkin Land. Uh, We've got the wicked witch that comes out of the well. And that's what she does in the film. I have a winged monkey that comes down out of the castle. Yeah. Very appropriate. Mm. Picking up the ball and capturing it like they do Dorothy. Yeah. yeah. It feels like... It feels like... You Oz. live every one of those scenes. You literally... Mm-hmm. It's like you're traveling, like you said, like down that yellow brick road. Like you you feel every scene of that film. The molded pop bumpers that are trees of the haunted forest. Yeah. Terrifying. That's below... I mean, everything even... Even everything is where it's supposed to be too. Yeah. You've got the castle up top. Then you've got the haunted forest down below. I still want a Wizard of Oz. I've I know I'll get one. tired. Of, I know, but just like it's really hard. I want it when I can it's afford really it. It's really hard to, to keep shoot. It. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's really hard to shoot. So, Wizard of Oz is the greatest world under glass as of right now. Mm. We'll see what JJP has up her sleeve or Deep Root. I'm not so sure newer Stearns are gonna no. make it. I don't. But say. it wouldn't surprise me if they did. And honestly, though, me. I think American Pinball is right there. Uh, They're close. Houdini, like we've talked before, the milk, like we talked about But does about that feel like a world? It feels like I'm like at a magic store. I'm part of that. Uh, I doesn't, think no, I'll it co- does it though. It doesn't feel like you're in a magic store. It just feels like good theming. Yeah, it feels like I'm almost alive on his movie posters. Like, but that's okay. that's what it okay. is. You're you're performing don't his. I don't. I don't. I do actually. I do. I I, to an extent, I don't. Yeah. Free will. We all make our own yeah, decisions. Yeah, we do. We do. But there could be something. I mean, who knows? Um, but yeah, it feels like we're on. Like what in about his... Oktoberfest, their number two pin. I think it does. You can argue well, it all you want, but I, I think it I may think be it with that like art, a... though, kind of in a negative way. I think it feels like you're at a carnival. I still think. I mean, but are you a carnival? Or are you supposed to be at a bar? Because Otto is at the bar. Yeah, but there's there's a bar at the damn carnival. It is a roller coaster. And it's, him. it's a roller coaster. You're there. You're bumper, at Oktoberfest. Bumper cars at the bumpers. That's what I'm saying. The lights. You got a Ferris wheel in the back. And that's a 2D plastic with lights on it. Come on. Let's but I'm just saying, though, it. when I look in there, it looks like I'm at a fair. It's not there. It's, it's a beer affair. It's it feel, it's very much world under glass, just not a top ten. No, it's not. That, but this is what I'm they're saying. getting close. But that, yes, yeah, what they're we're arguing close. is that it's getting close. But I agree. I think out of everything, Stern's the furthest from producing that again with their current machines. Who knows? Who knows what monsters will bring us? Uh, you know, honestly, knocking the Beatles pin and all that aside. They encompassed that era. I think it was a shitty era of the Beatles, yeah. but they, they encompassed that a little bit. I mean, yeah. it feels like that. Yay! Yeah, that's true. I'm going crazy over Paul. That kind of thing, you know? But that world under glass is like TNA where it's it's uh, it's time appropriate. Yeah, it's more theme, theme integrated than yeah. world under glass. I, yeah. I agree with you on that. You know one that should have made the top 10 but didn't? What? Spooky's Alice Cooper... Nightmare Castle. I can agree with that. It's got a guillotine. And the, the whole I back can. of the play field is a castle. as Frankenstein that jumps out at I you. I can 100% agree. But the problem with that, what are you going to boot off? You can't boot off Flintstones. No. Flintstones is a little bit more than that. Yeah. I wanted AC and C to be in there. Alice Cooper to be in there. but I think it could have made it. I think that's a, uh, there could be a strong argument made for that pin. Yeah. Definitely. So what's some uh, honorable mentions? What uh, that's what like the got? number one honorable mention for me. I think so. Alice Cooper, it was right there. Um, Monster Bash. Um, some I still say, don't think so. Eh, at next. all. Creature from the Black Lagoon. That I that can is agree a world with. under glass. I can agree. Um, but, but does it feel like a movie? Th- do those ramps make sense as a movie theater drive-in? Not really. The yeah. the lighting Not so does. Much. Yeah. Um, creature coming up from the lagoon does. Yeah. But are we dealing? Are we in? The land of the creature? Or are we in the movie? Th- so it's a little meshed up there. Mm-hmm. Um, Roadshow. The Red road and Ted Roadshow. That's a construction agree. site. Very much so. You got the rednecks in the back. Or Red and Ted in the back. Rednecks in the back. Well, eh. 
Not far off. Uh, uh, you got a blast zone. You've got the yeah. wire forms where the scaffolding and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you have a bulldozer front. Yeah. That that's world under glass. Uh, Adam's family. People are angry right now. They're screaming. I can't believe. And Zach didn't understand this at all. And I had to explain to him. I was like, it's literally like you're in understand. the mansion. It feels like you're in the mansion. You got the library. Okay. You've got everything going on. Like it. It feels like you got Uncle Fester in his chair. Yeah, but that, let's not joke ourselves. That mods that library just looks like a, a blue box. Yeah. It's not great. You've got the thing hand that comes out. You've got Uncle Fester. You have the staircase ramp. Okay. Okay, just didn't make the top 10 list. You also have dialed in. That literally is a world under glass. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're in a quantum city, but... Ooh. It's the LCD integration. Yeah, I think the LCD helps. I don't bumpers think the, I don't think in, under the glass is that bad. I think it helps. No, you've I think got it drones. Really does. You've got the yeah. theater. You've the got theater. the uh, the theater the ball really walk helps. That's a what is that like a subway system mm-hmm. or a tram? And you get the drones. You got it's. Yeah. There's a lot to go on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We also have Blackwater 100. We wanted to put this in there. Yeah. That's a dirt track. That is okay. a motor motorbike dirt yep. track. Some, something's got to go. Something yeah. can't make the top That's what we were minutes. saying. It's so hard because you could just sit there and be like, this, this. No, not that. Not that. Yeah, this, oh, that. That one's really tough. What do we do? Blackwater 100. Uh, Tales of Arabian Nights. Yeah. That feels like you're in the world uh, of the Middle East during that time. You've got your genie and a lamp. I agree. Um, yeah, that feels good too. And the, what, what else is there up there? Um, Toten. Toten, not as much as Theater Magic. Mm. Theater Magic. You've got the magic box, yeah. right? You've got the the magic, uh, the magic magnets, yeah. right? You also have this tiger soul, yeah. the magic mirror. Theater the magic, fantastic. Yeah, theater like magic work. Show. Um, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, Dracula. It feels like you're it's in a that. city. Yeah, it feels like you know, like Pennsylvania when, or whatever. When they're out there and they're in that uh, that graveyard scene and everything, like, it feels like it feels like you're out in the moonlight. You've got him in the coffin, that. Ron yeah. Jeremy laying there waiting for uh, yeah. waiting for. A, Interest. <laughs> Daddy, That's right. But as always, oh, we don't want oh, haunted house. Yes. I could keep going on forever. Gottlieb's haunted house. That is more of just a split level yes. and artwork rather than any mechanism. Uh, yeah, you got Jurassic Park by Dad at East. Yeah. A lot of these older machines. Nightmare too. on Elm Street. That creeps me out. It's, it's like you got the world. boiler, almost like the, the boiler, boiler going on in his mouth. You yeah. could even say Daddy's Batman. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of. Yeah. So as always, guys, make sure to write us. Let us know yeah. what you feel that your top world under glass are. Yeah, just give us your top one, are. and then we'll kind of calculate that. Yeah, give us your top world under glass or top three or something. Tell like these that. people what they need to know, Zach. Hey, that's my line. Nah, but I'm taking it today. Subscribe to us. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, on Facebook. Watch us live on Twitch. What else we got? Is that it? T-shirts. T-shirts. We got iTunes. Go, go. I know I'm, I'm behind on the whole podcast thing to get them up there. Some just don't make sense to put on a podcast. But go review our podcast. T-shirts. Look at this. Check it out. Why not? Look at that, Greg. Look at that. Look at your face. Looks so good. It didn't he do a good job on these? It's freaking killer, man. I do love them. It's one of my favorites. Damn. It's probably my favorite shirt we've had Hell so yeah, far. look at it. I like it. We got animated by Christopher Franchi, one of the greatest pinball artists of all time. So buy his t-shirt to help us out, keep the show a rolling. Um, what else do people need to know? That's probably Live it. on Twitch. Are you yeah. going to start streaming or what? Yeah. No? No. Yes? no. Yeah. See ya. You hit it off with the bumper nice straight down the middle. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot. You're rolling out the alley and all day. All right, Ghostbusters, Pirates of the Caribbean out, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ghostbusters, no. Coding pulls it in good, but. All right, so uh, Simpsons above fire. Yeah, that's wrong. We're six minutes in, still nothing. I wish I had a f-ing lizard tongue and just. That's pretty gay. Get your ass. Oh, you're calling me a gay lizard? Gay lizard. Oh. Okay.